Um, this selfie stick, my beloved Insta360 selfie stick that sells for $25 and goes with me everywhere, is actually called the invisible selfie stick. We didn't tell everybody about that. This is the invisible selfie stick. Um, I'll show a little clip of me running around town. Every shot, I'm holding this in my hand, but the brilliance of the software from the Insta360 people is that it disappears. It makes it invisible. Um, when you're doing the invisible selfie stick and you're walking down the street, you're thus walking down the street like this. Uh, there is one of the shot lists that Insta360 recommends doing is where you put it like this. Uh, how do I describe this? It's over my shoulder, and all of a sudden, it doesn't look as weird. But so you need to think about your hand movements and hand placements. Michael's the master of this. How do you... How do you place your hands with the invisible selfie stick, Michael? It's this is a question I always get asked. So, so you know, if you're walking with your selfie stick in front of you and you have your arm out here, it's going to be pretty obvious that you're holding something. So, when it's in front of you, I always like to have it at my at my side. So, if I'm like this, I just have it at my side where you're just walking normally, or you can't really see that on my camera. But if you're putting it over your shoulder, the camera's behind you, so you're not really seeing uh your hand in the shot i typically like to have it kind of like this so if i have it like this and i'm walking this is like the perfect shot because you don't really see that you're holding anything and the camera's behind you that's what i like i like having the camera behind me because then it gets you this like crazy third person view shot and it literally looks like you have a drone following you um without the headache of actually having to fly a drone I always like the the more lower level shots because it, it's more true to like how actual filming works versus if you have it up here, then you might just be seeing the top of your head. It's a cool shot as well. It's like a little bird's eye shot, but I think for more natural viewing, it's better to have it almost at your at your neck or head level, whichever direction you're holding it in. If you're holding it in front of you or if you're holding behind you, this kind of just gives you like that top down view. It's nice, but if you're doing like vlogs or anything like that, I don't know if it's if it's the best for consistent long vlogs.